One major element of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 8 Jojolian is family, and the effects that one can have on your life, specifically in Mothers. From Holly Joestar Kira's effect on Yoshikage Kira and even Josefumi to a degree that in turn resulted in Gappy's own motivation to save her, or how Jobin was shaped into the person that he was by Kato's own actions when he was a child. We even see this partly in rock humans and their perceived relationship, or lack thereof, with their mothers. And the person who helped introduce these core concepts to the story, along with so much else, is the Higashikata housemaid hosting a hostile Harley Davidson hitman, Kei Nijimura, and her stand, Born This Way. Kei Nijimura is a supporting character for the main story of Part 8 Jojolian, and is currently working undercover as a maid for the Higashikata household. Her real identity is that of Kei Kira, the daughter of Holly Joestar Kira and sister to Yoshikage Kira. Her role in the part is important since she not only is the one to deliver the punchline on one of the most important aspects of Gappy's character, but also her motivation being driven by Kei's love for her family makes her essentially a microcosm of the whole part. Though before we get too deep into that, let's understand the meaning behind her name and design. The name, Kei Nijimura, is actually rather interesting history-wise, as some earlier readers may remember her as Kyo Nijimura instead of Kei. This is because the hiragata in her name has been actually written incorrectly since Volume 4, and it was a mistake that came about because Araki just didn't check on it. But eventually, in Volume 24, it was corrected to its proper pronunciation, and with this, we understood that Kei Nijimura comes from Kei Cho Nijimura, the older brother of the two Nijimuras, though the kanji comprising her name is different than the one in Keicho's name. This K means 10 quadrillion, which plays well with the Nijimura naming theme with them all having a large sum of money or a large number. Though besides just her name being a reference to a previous part's character, her entire existence along with her design seems to be one as well, as Kei and her brother Yoshikage seem to have aspects of Jotaro Kujo divided among them. This is seen best in her going on a hall adventure to save her ailing mother from an unknown illness, which is similar to the inciting incident from Part 3. Also, she has aspects of Okiyasu as well built into her character, seen mostly in her role in the story as the first enemy-turned-ally, and she's defeated in a very similar fashion to Okiyasu as well. Though, when speaking of her design, we should also mention the GU symbols found all throughout her body. This is a direct reference to the song Underground by the British punk rock band The Jam, which is all about the lead, Paul Weller's, anger with the current state of the world, and specifically the British government at the time. Though the name itself was selected likely because underground, or going underground, means to conduct an operation in secret, which fits very well with Kei hiding her identity when she works as the Higashikata household maid, since she is investigating their family in private. Along with Kei matching up very well with the meaning of going underground, her stand was originally going to be called Going Underground as well, and it was during its debut in original magazine run, but in volume 4 of Tijolian, Kei's stand would have its name changed to something different, this being Born This Way. Born This Way is a complex humanoid automatic stand which takes the form of a biker and motorcycle, with the motorcycle itself being somewhat of a mixture of a Harley Davidson and a sports bike, given its general shape, specifically on how the arms attach to the front wheel. Which makes sense since it's likely inspired partly by Born This Way's album cover, featuring Lady Gaga fused together with a Harley Davidson herself. Along with this, the wheels have a cutesy decal with a heart mixed with a flower, likely in reference to Kay's own innocence, as she is the youngest member of her family yet she is working the hardest. Beyond that, a cool detail that connects Kei to her brother Yoshikage is that the helmet has a miniature skull on it that is similar to that of Killer Queens. And while we're speaking about the biker, Araki explains that he gave the biker a specific monstrous appearance without its helmet so that the reader would understand that the bike and the rider were both part of the stand. Also, it would appear that even though they are both part of one stand, the rider and the bike can be separated without much issue. Along with this, Born This Way is pretty strong offensively and defensively, being able to not only withstand an assault from soft and wet's punches and then overwhelm it. It was also able to shatter the hands of the stand as well in the process. Now what Born This Way can do is rather interesting, as it has two major abilities, the first of them being Freezing Wind. How this works is Born This Way can conjure a powerful gust of cold wind at will. This windstorm can effortlessly displace objects in a way that benefits the user, be it either by simply blinding a target with loose leaves on the ground or causing a metal sign to come crashing down on them. Along with this, the wind that Born This Way produces is icy to the touch, 
being able to flash freeze liquids as soon as it comes in contact with them, or even solidify someone's breath as they exhale. And if it's active for long enough, it can create mounds of snow at will, overwhelming their target. And this effect all seems to spawn from the bike itself, as the bike's revving creates these powerful wind currents, and seems to be based on the effect of wind chill, which is commonly experienced by fans, but often can be felt while driving, like when you stick your hand out a car window on a hot day. The air blows away the hot air your body generates when trying to cool itself off naturally, allowing you to cool down even faster. This effect has obviously been elevated to a supernatural level when used by Born This Way. Though while this power is terrifying on its own, especially considering the long-range automatic nature of the stand, what makes Born This Way a real danger is its second ability, this being opening trigger arrival. As whenever someone who K is targeting with her stand opens something, Born This Way will spawn around them, either right outside of the opened objects or appearing from the open object itself. This applies to everything, from opening your phone, your door, or even having a loosely opened object thrown at you, causing you to inadvertently open the object yourself. The only thing that this doesn't seem to apply to is biological openings of a person, like your eye or mouth. Though there is another workaround for this, as Born This Way only spawns when the targeted person opens something, so they could in fact have someone else open it for them. It's not targeted on the concept of opening, just the person themselves opening it. Opening Triggered Arrival is an ability that is also likely inspired by a common trope in horror movies in which the killer would, would suddenly teleport to an impossible place off screen, though I am mostly basing this hypothesis on the fact that Araki has a lot of horror roots in his writing. Now the stand gets its name from the Lady Gaga album Born This Way and its titular single Born This Way, which is a song that means a whole lot to Lady Gaga. Not only is it about finding yourself, but it's about immaculate conception and infinite creativity. As she claims, this is true for the whole album, as it's all spiritual in nature. Even the cover itself of her being a motorcycle in a black void is supposed to be representative of her own creativity. As she puts it herself, she isn't on any specific path or road and can choose where life takes her next, which is partly represented by Born This Way's opening triggered arrival, as the sand appears to exist in a void until it needs to strike when an opening is made for it, and it can come from any place, allowing it infinite creativity in its arrival. Along with this, all these concepts found within Born This Way apply in some way to Kay in her role in the story of Jujolian, with her acting as a stand-in for the introduction of a lot of Part 8's main concepts. But most importantly, she helps Gappy down the path of finding out who he really is, along with revealing that he is possibly tied to the concept of Immaculate Conception, as Gappy is, by technicality, a virgin birth as he is a new life created by fusing Josefumi and Yoshikage together into one person. Along with this, it elevates Holly, both Kei and technically Gappy's mother, to a saint-like status that Kei views her as from the beginning, and that the symbology of Jojolian likes to reflect her as. And with that in mind, I feel like Kei fulfills her role that she was designed for perfectly. She is the first initial shove that starts the major themes rolling in Part 8, showing fully the amount that someone is willing to sacrifice for their family, from her giving up her life to protect her mother, but later willing to walk into a death trap to fully help someone that is only half of her brother, which ties very well with Josuke's own goal on uncovering his identity, but also the sacrifices that the Higashikata family are doing to ensure that the first son survives. Beyond this, Kei also introduces to both Gabby and the reader the secret to the fusing ground with the Lemon and Tangerine experiment. She is weirdly one of Araki's key characters in the story, designed to demonstrate important themes or actions that will change how we understand the world of Jojo going forward. And this holds true even for her role in other arcs, from being the first full victim of Vitamin C during Deimo's attack, and her revealing to Gabby the secret of the nothingness that exists within the bubbles during Wonder of You. Though this may be the last lesson that she ever shares with Gappy, as her status in the series is currently unknown, as during the Wonder of You fight, she strikes the head doctor, causing a flow of calamity to embed a broken cane in her eye, assumedly killing her, as her stand begins to crumble away in a similar fashion that happens only when a stand user dies. Though moments before Josuke left to fully pursue the doctor with this new lesson in mind, her and Mamazuku Rai's hands grasp Josuke's. This, of course, could be a spiritual way of a character dying, like shown in previous parts, but could also hint at their fates being possibly savable. Because if there is still some Lokakaka 6251 left over, then that means it's possible for Josuke to heal Kei's eye-related wounds with that in a similar way to 
the way that Holly saved Josuke, likely causing the two to gain matching eye rocks. Well, I guess before Josuke lost his eye rock. What happened to that? Where'd it go? I miss it. But this is just speculation at this point. Though, speaking of speculation, there is one aspect of Kei's character, or specifically Born This Way, that I wanted to discuss a little bit further, but I'll be saving it for a future video on its own covering that topic in specific. Kei Kira is a character who honestly embodies a lot of what makes Jajolian, well, Jajolian. And even though her history is full of changes and her relevance has diminished as time went on, her importance is undeniable in the grand scheme of the part. The one aspect of Kay's character I feel is important to note before we end is her own quiet tragedy, as let's not forget what brought Kay to the point that she is now. She is investigating the Higashikatas after the disappearance of her brother, someone who was involved with Higashikatas and that she loved enough to later on walk into death's embrace to insist in even the slightest way. She then discovers someone who looks and dresses and is wearing the exact same hat as her brother, but has absolutely no memory of her. And given that we later see that she has been taking care of Holly in her free time, this means that Josuke is the second family member to slowly lose all memory of Kei. She is the last of the Kira family, as the people who were once her mother and her brother are essentially gone. She honestly is one of the most tragic characters in Jojolian, yet she has to continue to suffer in silence because to raise alarm and break down means to lose all hope that one day she could restore her family. And with that said and done, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash guy. Even the smallest pledge helps keep this channel flowing as smoothly as it does. And if you want to avoid dealing with Born This Way and transcend its ability, you can do so by buying a copy of Shimonetta at buyshimonetta.com.